Hello, let's talk about data cubes. Using common office supplies. So what is a data cube? A data cube is height, width, across depth. Don't understand yet? You will. So, you usually have something called a data table or a data set. This usually takes the form of uh, something that looks like a spreadsheet. So, let's take jobs for example. So, every job has a job title. Every job has a category. Are you medical? Sorry, I'm trying to do this through a microphone and a camera stand. Are you medical? Are you IT? Are you engineering? Are you education? Are you retail? That's your category. So then let's just make it easy so we can fit it on a piece of paper here. Let's go with average pay because that's what everybody wants to know. And average openings can I is it easy to get this job that pays this much money in this category with this job title now a lot of other people also would add on something like education or they will type in they, they'll want something of anything else I you know, does it, is it child friendly or something, or does it have a good work life balance? No, you know, what? <laughs> you know, it has a good work life balance. Having $3 million in a bank account that has 2.2% interest and making $75,000 a year just on interest. That's got a good work life balance. Anyway. Going back into this, so now every single job is going to have something like, I am a data engineer. Kind of, but I'm also a business intelligence person. We'll talk about that later in something that I want to call Know Your Role. And these are both... IT, actually, this is technically business, but it's business IT. That's a subcategory, which we can put in over here. Categories usually has an E at the end, which actually doesn't really help it because of the fact that now it says subcate. Going back into this, sales, what have you, and then it's got a category that's business and then average pay is uh, like 120 K there's no average pay for sales. Usually uh, business intelligence is somewhere around 70 K data engineers more around 80 K and then average openings right now up up and it's pretty much always there, but it's up. So you're going to take that and the, you're going to do what most people do, and that's do it across time. So you're going to want to know what was it like in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, you get the point. So you're going to want to put all of that across all of this. So now you've got all of your job information that you want to know, all of the jobs that you want to analyze, and you have it across different time. And now what that is going to do is give you a timeline. Now, when it's small like this, it's called a spark line. 
not a lot of information just there so we can put this into say data engineering now data engineering has been picking up lately and if you're watching this video you know why but we have it here and we can make that line there for our highs and we can make this for our lows and then this is the absolute high this is the absolute low and you know that your predictions are going to be somewhere between there now that's just a very loose description of predictions because we're not in predictions we're in data cubes and I am done so thank you for watching all the way to the end like and subscribe if you want to see any more of my videos hit the notification bell so you can be told when it comes out thank you I'll see you in the next one